New goodies that have arrived for my Nintendo Switch. One of them is a thing hidden in this box. But before I start with this box, I want you to see this little thing. This accessory that looks like ice surrounding the Nintendo Switch OLED. I printed it with my printer on the HD and look how nice this looks, right? It looks great. Now my dock with the Nintendo Switch looks spectacular. Let's see what will be inside, my friends. Before I open the box, if you want more videos of weird Nintendo Switch stuff, then give it a strong like and tell me what like number you are. Let's see if you finally get before one zero likes. This is a prototype of some new Joy-Cons that are going to be released soon and are about to be developed. So I want to show it to you. It is not the definitive version, but you can see it. Let's see. It looks really cool, doesn't it? It's a detachable Joy-Cons, right? This can be removed like this. You can put them together with this grip and play like a controller. But what's really cool is putting it on the Nintendo Switch to play in handheld mode. Making a Nintendo Switch as cool as this. Incredible, right? In the box, no, two more grips. This would go here, okay? There it is, nice and neat. Since it's a prototype, it's not quite finished, but when it's finished, some new ones will come in. But guys, is it cool or what? It's cool, huh? Yes or no? It looks great, guys. What memories with the GameCube, huh? There's the joysticks, okay? The buttons. This joystick needs to be finished because it has to be yellow. It will be in the final version. And here at the back, look, because we have some little shortcuts. And here are the triggers, okay? Adapted to work with Nintendo Switch games, okay? And that's it, folks. And here we have it so we can play any kind of game. Which, by the way, Ray, what are you playing then? Splatoon 3. Oh, and Just Dance. I'm moving my body a bit for those nougats I ate this Christmas. This is not the only thing I have around here. Let's go now with another super fun little thing. I have to store my Nintendo Switch games. Check out these boxes to store cartridges in miniature format. You know, Nintendo Switch games are very small. So why have a box this big for a cartridge this small? It doesn't make any sense at all. Look at the little boxes because you can open them up. and store the Nintendo Switch cartridges inside. Just like that, right? And it doesn't take up space, right? Man, compare this box with the small version that is the size of the cartridge itself. Anyway, why do you want a box this big if in the end they don't include any instruction book or anything? They only include the box and the cover. In other words, there is no point in something so big for something so small. The Minecraft game is also placed right here. Yes, sir, well kept. This doesn't close. Let's see. Now, we already have the cartridge in its place, protected with this little box. Like this though, right? You can lose this, really. We can put some of the flagship games away. I've got the Animal Crossing box from Minecraft, okay? With the back as well. You're not gonna be able to read a damn thing in here. And here we also have the Zelda Breath of the Wild box, one of the best Nintendo Switch games. Which, by the way, you want to see something, folks? Check it out why I have Zelda Breath of the Wild manual, folks. Look how cool, huh? This one, yes or no? Would you guys be cool with some manuals coming back on Nintendo Switch games? I'd love it there. In this case, it wouldn't make sense to keep it in the little box because this one has a manual. But we still could, right? And we also have the little box for Mario Odyssey, okay? And we also have the Mario Kart box, okay? So that's it. I bought these Nintendo Switch boxes. Tell me in the comments what you think about these. Do you like them or do you prefer the big ones so you don't lose the cartridges? Let's see. I still prefer these big ones, huh? I don't know about you. Obviously, we couldn't miss our miniature stand to put the Nintendo Switch game boxes. One over here. One over here. And there are the three games organized with this booth. Hey, I'm buying a lot of stuff for Nintendo Switch. By the way, Crack, are you subscribed to Compa Ray Bacon's channel? If you are, type the word avocado below in the comments. Let's see how many avocados we reconnect today. And let's see one thing. It doesn't end here. I have another thing also for the cartridges. Very fun. Notice because I have the Nintendo Switch poster. We're gonna toast two Nintendo Switch games, but just know that I have four more for you guys that you can buy through Neva. I'm gonna put them up for sale if anyone is interested. They're nice. You can roast your favorite games, as I'm gonna do below. If you wanna get one of these, you can go below in the description where you'll have a link from Neva, 
and you can buy one of these. There's the blue version, it's here. Or if you prefer white. Man, white is pretty cool too, isn't it? I don't know, which one do you guys like better? But this one, guys, I'll take it. There we have the two best Nintendo Switch games, Zelda Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey. Both of them we're going to put inside the toaster. One over here and one over here, and come on, we're going to wait a little while for the games to toast so we can then play at full 4K 60 FPS on Nintendo Switch. Guys, it looks like that's it. Let's take a look at it, guys. There it is. Okay, I repeat, let's go. Let's get them out. There they are. It's cool like this. You have one set over here, nice and toasty, and here's the other one. But look at that, because this is getting high. Look, wow, they're flying out. There it is. What if we make them both jump? What? Bully. Your Nintendo Switch Game Toaster is now available at Neva, where you can also buy games, accessories, consoles, or sell what you no longer use. By the way, speaking of small things, some time ago I made a miniature Nintendo Switch, where I represented the box, the console, the cartridges. If you want, you can watch the video on my channel. In addition, Another accessory that I showed you was some super small, super compact controllers to take on a trip and play with your colleagues in the middle of a train ride. For example, they are quite small controllers that can easily fit in your luggage. And so you can share your games with your travel companions. And for those who love arcades, there is also an accessory that can be mounted, which represents an arcade for Nintendo Switch. Where you can place the Switch from behind through a compartment and then be able to play a game, for example, fighting games like Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Obviously, playing with the Nintendo Switch screen is not the most comfortable thing in the world. But for outdoor gaming, there is nothing else unless you use a portable screen, which we've given you in lots and lots and lots of my videos. If you want to know more strange things that exist for Nintendo Switch, you have to give a strong like to this video. Of course, comment below if you are or are not subscribed to my channel. So check right now down there and verify that the button is on is subscribed. I'm actually going to make it a lot easier and more accessible for you. Up here you have my channel because two clicks and you're subscribed. In other words, it's impossible to make it easier and it's free. You click and you subscribe. And of course here below you have another video. Curious Nintendo Switch accessories, very strange. And also super fun, go check it out, right now. And we'll see you, see you next time, bye.